Hey everyone, I'm Akira and in today's video we'll take a look at the trading post system that becomes available tomorrow on the US service and the day after in the EU and the rewards that will be available for the first month. It's a new battle pass like system, however it is free. To unlock it, simply log in, head to either Stormwind or Orgrimma and you'll find the trading post in these locations. Once you get there, you'll get a brief intro quest that kind of shows you around the trading post and which NPCs you want to talk to to check either your progress, the currency you've accumulated, or the rewards you can get. Once you've completed the intro, you'll receive 500 traders tender, which is the currency for the trading post. Let me quickly explain how this system works. Every month, you can find around 15 different cosmetic rewards at the trading post, and they can be purchased for traders tender. The rewards rotate each month. However, you'll be able to freeze one item if you don't have the time to play, but you still want that specific reward to be obtainable the month after. Also, the rewards are not gone forever. They will come back eventually to the trading post if you miss out on them. You'll receive 500 tender every month for simply having an active subscription and logging in. You can earn up to a thousand tender each and every month, and that is per account. So your progress will be shared amongst all your characters. To earn Traders Tender, you have to participate in content in the game. You can press Shift J to open the Traveler's Lock, and here you'll see which activities can grant you travel points, which will then grant you Traders Tender at a rate of 2 to 1 or something that given month. The different activities range from raids to dungeons to PvP, crafting, doing quests in the open world, pet battles, and sometimes participating in in-game events like Love is in the Air and Halloween. Then there's also the special tab, which is a bunch of random stuff, like for an example, show some love to the trading post, where you simply have to type slash love at some NPCs around the trading post. So yeah, there's a ton of different ways you can fill up this travel points bar, and once you do, you will also get a monthly reward for filling it to the cap, which is a thousand tender or two thousand travel points. And in the first month the trading post is available, you will be rewarded with the Ashadar Harbinger of Dawn mount, which is a very cool ghostly warden-like saber, and this mount is actually super unique because this mount will change colors depending on the time of the day, so in the night it will be silver or like white bluish and during the day it will be yellow orange just like this and that is basically how the system works so let's move on and have a look at the rewards available for purchase in the first month of the trading post first up is another mount and it is the storm mount celestial steed it cost 900 tender so almost all of the monthly available tender for this one Secondly, we have the Fury of the Fire Lord, which is a transmuggable one-handed mace. It looks amazing in my opinion. It's a flaming flail. Then you have Garlock, an ogre battle pet. Then you have the Swashbuckling Buccaneer Ensemble, for those who dream to be a pirate. The Shadowed Void Spire, two-handed staff transmug. Infiltrator and Operatives Bandolier, two backpiece transmugs. Shard of Frozen Secrets, a Dagger Transmug. Asher Scale Sworn Longbow, a Frosty Bow. Squire's Hammer, Squire's Warhammer, a two-handed mace for those who reminisce the good old level 1 days. Rosy Corsage, Wrist Transmug for the role players in Night Face. Vagabond's Rosy Threats Ensemble, Head and Cloak Transmug. And Wanderer's Rosy Trappings, also Head and Cloak Transmug. The Feated Bouquet, held in offhand transmug. And lastly, the Irresident War Cloak, a pink that's brighter than my future colored cloak. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Consider leaving a like, a dislike, or comment for whatever reason. And subscribe for more WoW Mount related content in the future. And as always, have a wonderful day. Bye!